my loves. Okay, I need your help. <laughs> As you have watched in some of my other videos, you heard me say, I decluttered so many palettes. I still have too many. I, I, <laughs> I don't want this many palettes. If I don't use it, I don't want it. But for some reason, some of these palettes I decided I could not let go of. Um, but they got to go. Some of these have got to go. So, you know, help me <laughs> decide. Okay. My two Marc Jacobs palettes. So this one is Scandalous. And she ain't going anywhere. Like, I'm close to hitting pan on this one. I use this a lot. So, she's a keeper. My other Marc Jacobs palette is the Frivolux. I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. Butter London. Okay, I do like this palette. It came in a boxy charm. However, I've only pulled for it once and it was for this green shade. And I'm pretty sure, as we will find, I have this green shade elsewhere. So she is going to be decluttered. Decluttered. I'm sticking to it. Okay, where do I even put these? Okay, um, then we have Urban Decay Born to Run palette. She is going nowhere. And look, here's some of those greens that was in that last palette. See, I could dupe that so easily. I use the HE Double Hockey Sticks <laughs> out of this palette. I'm, I'm close to hitting pan on these two colors. Um, it's one of my all-time favorite palettes. So she is going nowhere. Okay, let's go ahead and talk Natasha Denona because no, she is never leaving my side. She is beautiful. I love her. You know what's funny? If you watched my videos like a year or two ago, year and a half ago, you heard me say that I was not a huge fan of Natasha Denona. But I have since, now that I don't do the winged liner, the fake lashes, now that I have a little bit more of a toned down look, I know for some of you, you're going, that's, that's toned down, but it is, <laughs> it is for me. My hair's going flat, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Something's got to give with this hair. Okay, maybe not. Um... I've noticed since I don't do the, the fake lashes and the wing liner, I pull from my Natasha Denona palettes all the time. So, Sunrise, in my favorites video, I kept calling it the Sunset palette. It's not the Sunset, it's the Sunrise. She's not leaving me ever. So, let's stick with Natasha Denona. We have the Lila palette. As you can see, I use this palette a lot. So, she is definitely a keeper. I mean, this palette is expensive. She's expensive. Um, this one and the other Natasha Denona are the two most expensive palettes I have in my collection. And I use them all the time. The other Natasha Denona palette that I have is the Sunset palette. And check out these, like you can tell, I use this palette a lot. Um, she's not going anywhere either. In fact, I've not pulled for in a couple weeks, and she might be needing some attention. Um, let's stay with the more higher-end palettes. So we have this Bobbi Brown Nude Drama. I do not use this palette a lot, but there's something very... When I want to create this one certain look, 
this is the palette that I pull for. Um, almost like a smoky, but still very glamorous look. I pull for this palette, so I can't, I can't get rid of her. So far, we've only gotten rid of one, and we have a baby. Dang it. Um, I can't stick with higher end. They're so scattered all over. Okay, so we have the Light Speed by Bad Habit. Um, I ain't never going to use these colors. Although, I do need a good white. No. Okay, so this one I don't pull for. This was a dupe for one of the Kat Von D palettes. I don't pull for it. I don't foresee me ever pulling for it. So, we're going to get rid of this one. After Hours. I mean, this one's all busted up. I actually use this one quite a bit, um, but I have these tones, um, a lot of these tones are in the Born to Run Urban Decay palette, so we're getting rid of her. The Jouer Skinny Dip, you know, these are probably the most gorgeous metallics that you will ever I mean, just look at that. It looks like I just put on tin foil on my hand. They're stunning, but I never, ever, never, ever, never, ever pull for it. So, we're going to put this in the maybe pile. Because maybe one day I will. <laughs> okay. The ColourPop Perception Palette. I love these. These just say... Autumn. Look, I hit pan on this one. But I do think most of these colors are similar to my Born to Run. What do y'all think? Like we have oranges, burgundies, pinks. Oh my god. Okay, let's just put this in the maybe pile. <laughs> Be patient. Just be patient. Because I do love it. I love that palette. <gasps> oh, okay. Here's one that I never pull for ever. You would you would think I would pull for it more because I love the glitter shimmer shades. Never ever pull for this palette. I need that music. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh. No. Getting rid of it. Okay. The Venus 2. I tell you what. I only keep this for this color. It's a duochrome. But you know what? I think that's the same as this color that I love so much. I be damn. It's the same shit. Okay. I can't believe that. That's the only reason I keep this Lime Crime palette is for that color. And it's in the ColourPop palette. Okay. So. I think. I think I'm going to keep the Lime Crime one. And get rid of the ColourPop. Only because. I don't have this mustard in another palette. Um, I don't have this army green. and So I think there's colors I could pull from this one. Um, to work with other palettes. Whereas the ColourPop palette. I have a lot of these other colors in other palettes. So, one more down. Okay. I should limit myself. Like, you're only keeping this many. Boo Sang ain't never going anywhere. She has survived a ton of declutters. I am never getting rid of her. This has... A, this palette is autumn in a palette. Me autumn, not the season autumn. 
I use all these colors. I pull for it quite a bit. Never getting rid of her. Okay, we have the Crown Pro Glam Metals. Um, I always keep these because of the blues. But I think we have enough blues in our other palettes that we could go ahead and purge this one. I mean, that is just pretty though, ain't it? No, we're getting rid of this one. Okay. Anastasia Soft Glam. She's going nowhere, and it's almost fall, and this is like the perfect fall palette, I think. So, keeping her. The Too Faced I Want Candy. I don't use this a lot, but I use a lot of the colors. Like, I'm almost always putting one of these three on my brow bone. Um... I like it is this orange I don't think I have okay she's gone um the warrior by Juvia's place never ever use it never use it it's beautiful colors and they're very very me I just never pull for it so she's gone bad habit after hours man I use the hell out of this palette there's another one that I have hit pan on. Um, I don't really pull for it anymore though. I haven't pulled for this in a very, very, very long time. But that color right there, that red, she's just so pretty. And I don't know that I really have that color in another palette. So we're gonna keep this Bad Habit palette. The Maybelline Lemonade Craze. Um, I love this for my low-key, you know, natural, because y'all know I don't go very natural. Um, but for my more natural days, <laughs> this is the one I usually pull for. And when my daughter, she's a senior, and I had to do her makeup for a couple of photo shoots, and this was the palette that I used because she doesn't like a heavy makeup. So I'm keeping that one. Dream Street. I have to keep Dream Street just for these these two colors. I love those two colors. I, I can't get rid of Dream Street. Um, after hour, this is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And you can see this palette has got some love. Um, I've got, this is my transition, this in the crease, this just sort of deep in the crease. And then I did this in the middle this one a little closer to my eye and then this one on the inner corner so i really like this palette i gotta keep her uh the saharan by juvia's place hold on are these two colors similar from the dream street I mean, they're pretty similar, right? Are they... They kind of have that brown shift like the other two colors that I... So that's four palettes I've been keeping for the same dabbling color. Um, okay, so we're going to get rid of the Saharan and keep the Dream Street. I thought I could choose one or the other. Um, but if I had to pick one, I'm going to go with Dream Street. Okay, last one, Berries and Cream. Remember, this one's broke, but I love her. I use her a lot. She ain't going nowhere. Um, okay, Skinny Dip.
Come on, guys. <laughs> I just love Marc Jacobs. Um, I don't put purple on my eyes. I just don't. So... And I feel like I kept, I kept more than I want to. Okay, hold on. Definitely keep it. Yeah, I'm going back through them. I'm not keeping it. My girls don't wear makeup enough. I'm not keeping it. The after part, I did like the way this look turned out today, so I'm keeping it. Urban Decay, I have to keep. Soft Glam, I have to keep. What? Oh, it was the Dream Street. Just this color is everything I've ever wanted in my life. I gotta keep it. Natasha Denona is never going anywhere. Let's get rid of the after hours. Okay, so I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven palettes. Hey, 10, 11. Hey, I did better than I thought. Okay, so we said we were going to get rid of this one, right? But which would you... I mean, this one obviously has more options. A lot of the colors are the same. Let's get rid of the Jouer and keep the Too Faced. There may come a time in my life that I want to do a purple look. <laughs> Y'all just don't know how much I love Martin Jacobs. But I never freaking use this palette. I never use it. It's gone. Okay. Okay, I got rid of 12 and kept 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 11. 12. I kept 12 and got rid of 12. I feel like I did good. All right, y'all. I'm going to go take my bed because that has... <sighs> that was not an enjoyable experience. <laughs> no, it was. I... I am decluttering my life. It's part of my getting over my anxiety, my depression. Decluttering has been a huge piece of it. And I'm not just talking about makeup. I have decluttered this whole damn house. <laughs> um, but I just feel better when I don't have as much clutter. All right, my loves. Until next time.